Hey guys, it's Nicole from Bird and Bee Wellness, and I'm hopping on here to show you a couple tips that you can do while you're stuck at home in quarantine. Um, massage therapists currently aren't able to work, and as far as we know, um, we aren't until the later phase of Connecticut reopening. So until then, um, you're gonna have to do some self-care and some self-massage. Um, but self myofascial release is really easy and you can use some simple tools that you might already have at home. Uh, a tennis ball is very effective for getting into smaller spaces and more specific areas. Um, and then also you can use a foam roller. Foam rollers don't necessarily have to be this hard and aggressive, um, but the firmer, the more dense the foam roller is, the deeper the self-massage will be and maybe more of a good hurt that you might experience depending on what your pain level is and obviously what your comfort is. Um, keep in mind that anytime that you're doing self-massage, you don't want to overdo it. So you want to stay in an area and feel that good hurt for about 15 to 20 seconds before you move on to something else. Um, you want to stay away from any um, tissue that might be um, damage from surgery, like if you just had a recent surgery or if the sensation there is different because of a surgery or injury. Um, so just really listen to yourself, listen to your body and keep within that 15 to 20 second rule so that you don't end up hurting yourself. Um, and obviously if you feel like it's something that could cause you an injury or does increase any pain, make sure you notify your physician. Um, so being stuck at home, you may be experiencing a little bit of stress, whether you have to work from home or you're not able to work at all, like myself, um, or perhaps you just became a homeschool teacher, just like that. <laughs> um, that could be stressful as well. I have two children, um, homeschooling one of them, and it's not easy, so I totally get it. Um, so even if you are able to work, your workspace might not be ergonomical. Um, you know, people I see all the time, they're trying to do a million things at once and they've got their laptop in front of them and they're sitting on the couch and, you know, they're trying to teach something to their kids and it's a lot. <laughs> so, you know, if you're experiencing any sort of tightness or soreness in the shoulders, a lot of times that can be coming from muscles in your chest area, more specifically, pec minor. You get that whole rounded um, posture that's going on and um, it can cause a lot of pain and discomfort because it's pulling and it's shortening in that area all the time. So what I like to use if using a tennis ball on the floor is not comfortable for you, you can also get on your foam roller and sort of section it so that it doesn't compromise any tissues for the ladies um, and also doesn't cause any pain you know, for both men and women. Um, what you want to do is make sure that your arm is in a comfortable position so that the joint itself isn't causing any pain when you're laying face down on your stomach. So you can take the foam roller like so, place it at an angle that's comfortable for you, and then you're going to literally put your weight down into the foam roller itself. Now, what I like to do is kind of move my elbow around and find that sweet spot, that spot that is a good hurt, and then hang out there for about eh, 10 to 15 seconds before I move it, maybe just a tiny bit, and then getting into a new area. Because the way the pec muscles, the fibers go in different directions, you constantly want to kind of move your arm almost like a fan so that you're getting the whole area. That's basically if you're trying to get into a bigger part of pec, um, the pec muscle. However, if you can find something that is raised a little bit, like a yoga block, it's very simple to use your tennis ball, placing the tennis ball under the shoulder, and then moving just like so, so that you can get into those smaller muscles. Pec minor, definitely being one of them. And you will definitely feel a good hurt with a little amount of pressure. So you really don't have to put a lot of body weight into that to get that muscle. 
So 15 to 20 seconds, like I said. After that, you might wanna do some stretching where you're opening up the shoulder, you're leaning in and stretching out all those attachments into that humeral joint. Another muscle that is probably getting a lot of work lately is your trapezius muscle. So upper traps, we spend a lot of time in either this position, that rounded position, or with our ears basically up to our shoulders. You always hear all the time, at least in my profession, when people come in and they get on my table, they're like, oh, you know what? You can never work too much in this area. So it's pretty hard to get into this area if you are um, laying on the ground. You can get into the back of the shoulder blades very easily, but it's hard to get into those upper traps. However, if you find yourself being able to lie on your back, so lying on your back in a bridge position, like so, if you can get the tennis ball into that tiny crease, and by just lifting up your hips, you can actually get right into the traps, right specifically into that upper trap area. So I like to take my elbow and bring it to about a 90 degree angle and then rotate the shoulder forward and backward so that you can really get into the traps. Again, finding that sweet spot, making sure that we hang out there for 15 to 20 seconds and then moving on to the next. So basically you've hit the shoulder in the front, okay? You've hit upper traps, so upper part of the shoulder. The next part, the final um, sweet spot that I'm gonna show you, especially for working on computers, you know, like I said, texting, probably not so much driving right now, but when we do go back to a normal life, whatever that is, you might have to commute again, which is going to cause a lot of time in the car. So the rounded shoulders that I was talking about before that causes the um, stress in the front here in the pec area is also going to pull on another muscle in the rib cage. So right behind your armpit, right into sort of the wing area of um, the ribs, is something, a small muscle group that kind of fans out across the rib cage like so, um, called serratus anterior. So this particular muscle, its job is to bring the shoulders forward, to round the shoulders. So it actually attaches to the rib cage and then dives underneath your shoulder blades and brings the shoulder in that gliding forward kind of like the same position is, or the same movement, is if you were giving someone a hug. So unfortunately, being a hugger, <laughs> we can't hug people right now, but we're gonna be hugging people really soon. So this is a muscle that you need to start taking care of so that you will be an optimal hugger, <laughs> okay? Um, so what I like to do is I like to lay on my side. I either put the foam roller, um, not exactly on the rib cage because that doesn't feel very comfortable, but sort of slightly behind, okay? Or if you wanna get into a smaller area, like I said, you can use a tennis ball. So you're gonna take the tennis ball, it's gonna go right underneath the armpit. So not in the armpit, you wanna stay away from the armpit itself, okay? So that we don't damage any major arteries. Um, and I mean, you're not gonna be able to really see this very well, but it's literally right here. What I could do is I could be snazzy because I am using the camera on my phone. There you go, now you can see it. So, getting in this position, tennis ball is underneath and just kind of hanging out. So, this can be really uncomfortable. Um, it can be very sensitive in this area. What you wanna do is sort of limit the amount of pressure, the amount of body weight that you're putting into it at first, and don't just jam all of your body weight into it because your um, muscles will definitely hate you and you'll feel a ton of pain the next day. What I like to do is just hang out in that spot. Take some deep breaths. 
feeling the good hurt and then shift my body weight a little bit to move it to another area again if i'm going to face the side for you where my armpit is the armpit is right in here serratus is going to be right underneath it in the ribs coming down underneath the breast tissue so this is a really sweet spot and it's also a spot that can be aggravated really easily so please do this with caution and make sure that you only hang out there like i said for about 15 to 20 seconds um so those are kind of the three three sweet spots that i wanted to share with you and i want to thank you for sitting and listening to my 10 minute long video i was not expecting it to be that long but i wanted to make sure that i explained thoroughly the three areas um in the rib cage in the thoracic area and in the um, upper thoracic area that can cause some issues with the whole rounded shoulders that we might be experiencing right now so i hope this video finds you safe and i hope it finds you well and I sure as heck hope we are out of quarantine soon. Peace.